Hello everybody, Mr. LEGO Love 55 here, and welcome back to another LEGO set review. Today we're taking a look at another Bionicle set. This is Akita, Creature of Water. So, um, yeah, there's not really much um, it, to say here at the beginning of the video, but uh, if you haven't really noticed, my I've kind of developed a little bit of a schedule uploading my videos, so if you've noticed that, uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Think good for you. Um, so I think the little schedule I'm trying to do here, I actually need to move that over a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, the little schedule I'm trying to do here is one video every other day, and so far I've been able to keep up with that. So uh, the first, and I'm mainly doing this because, uh, cause, well, we just got, I just got back from Florida and I got a bunch of little, little new Lego sets and everything. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to review and I didn't want to just Split, spat it all out on one day or just like one every day or just like two every day. No, I wanted to kind of pace it out because after all these are done, there's not going to be much left to do. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, talk about this set, the Bionicle Akita Creature of Water. So, at the top of the box, uh, we've got the Lego Bionicle logo with the Mask of Control, as you can see. We've also got a picture of Akita fighting off a Shadow Trap. Here on the side, we've got the set info. This set is recommended for ages 6 to 12. It's set number 71302, and it has 120 pieces. In it. That is quite a lot for just a $10 set. Uh, considering it, I even though it does cons consist of a lot of Technic stuff. Uh, <clears throat> here on the back, we have it, well, it shows that we have the combination model or the Unity form for Golly Master of Water. Which, if you are wondering, I will not be showing you guys that in this video. I will be doing that in the overview of 2016, I believe. Or maybe just the winter 2016 overview. I'm not too sure yet. I'll have to go look back on my other videos, see what I did. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and then we have all the functions. So it shows you can put up the cannons. Uh, there's an actual size of Akita's head. And the Shadow Trap can open and close. And there's, that's pretty much it. There really isn't too much. Oh, also there's the uh, the Nuva symbol for Golly, and then the creature symbol right there. Didn't really get to show you that on the last uh, Bionicle review, which was Golly, because I kind of ripped it. And this one I did too, but you can see these much better. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. Alrighty, so here we have the instructions for Akita, and unfortunately when I got my set, it's, uh, the instructions were a little bit beat up, unfortunately. It wasn't really packed too well, it was kind of just like crammed in there. Um, but I was able to kind of flatten it out and fix it a little bit, so it's not completely damaged, but it is damaged a little bit, so I'll just have to be careful with it. So, on the front of the instructions, pretty much the same stuff as on the front of the box. On the next page, we have the comic that was shown on Golly's uh, box, and it's not and it's not on uh, Akita's box, but it is in her instructions. Uh, here it shows that if you are confused, you should organize your pieces. And we've got, of course, the building instructions. No need to really go over this stuff. And then we have the final product of the sets. We've also got our good old list of pieces little poster thing for Umarak the Hunter, not the Destroyer. Here on this page, we've got a little advertisement for both the Bionicle Mask of Control game and the Netflix series The Journey to One. And once again, last two episodes are coming out July 29th, so go watch those. Very hyped for that. Uh, we've also got the combination model for Golly here, and as well for all of the other Toa. So we've got Liwa, Pohatu, Golly, Tahu, Anua, all that, and Kabaka. And then here on the last page, which takes up two pages, um, we've got all of the Toa with their creatures right behind them. And we've got little shadow traps here on the sides. And that's pretty much it for the instructions. So now we can go ahead and take a look at Akita, Creature of Water. Okay, never mind what I kind of just said, because I forgot we've got this shadow trap to take a look at. We'll be taking a look at Akita next, but first the shadow trap. So this is the shadow trap. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of them are pretty much built the same, but this one is pretty unique because of its extremely long legs, and this is something that not really any of the any of the other uh, shadow traps have, which is pretty neat. Uh, and the instructions are on the box, promotional stuff, they want you to keep it like this, but 
I like personally doing it like this just because it looks better and I think it provides more stability. Just like that. I think that works a lot better and looks better and stuff. Uh, so pretty much there's nothing new about the rest of that other than the legs. I guess we do have these little ExoForce hands here and that one's actually off a little bit. So yeah, that's the only unique thing about this Shadow Trap is pretty much just the legs. That's pretty much it. But not that... Not that this is not a good, very good thing. These are still pretty cool. I like them, but there's just nothing new to go over. And it does have the propeller on the top or on the back. And if you want to, you can actually blow on it and then it will spin. So I guess that's some more play value. And as you can see, I'm opening and closing it. So, yep, that's pretty much it for the shadow trap. Okay, so here is the main part of this set, Akita, Creature of Water. So we'll go ahead and start off with her color scheme. It consists of trans light blue, silver, uh, I guess some blue as well, and oh, the ocean blue, which I'm just going to call it, and orange. And the orange is pretty much an accent color, so yeah. That's pretty much it for the color scheme, and now we'll go ahead and take a look at the functions. So, I'm not the first one I'm actually going to show you is not really a function, but I'm going to show you anyways. So, Akita, as you can see here, comes with this little stand, which I think is a really neat thing to include in this set, considering, like, if you want to put this on display, if they did include that, it would just be like that, and it doesn't look all too appealing. I really do like how they actually include a little stand here. It's basically just a bunch of system bricks with an axle on top, and this axle just goes through here. There's no, it doesn't actually connect, there's no axle connection, it just sits on top of it, pretty much. So, I really think that's a neat idea, and if you want, you kind of can spin it, like so. Just like that. So, not really going to consider that a function, but it's still a really neat thing. Um, the next function is the stud shooter, which I have not actually shown for quite a while since uh, Gopaka's uh, thing. So once again, we, um, we will go ahead and take a look at the stud shooter in the arena um, after we take a look at everything else on Akita. Uh, the next function, we'll just go ahead and uh, put this off to the side for right now. Uh, this Her fin on the back, you can pull that up, but actually you do need to kind of angle her head or just like put it down all the way or something you can pull this fin up and that will bring the launchers up and this doesn't really add any play value to just akita herself this is mainly meant for the you uh, the unity model uh, with golly um but it's still pretty neat i guess you can kind of use it to like aim or something like if you're aiming down or something so i guess that's pretty neat that they did that and the actual technic build for it is pretty cool as well so, yep. Alrighty, so there's not really too much about Akita, but, or, actually I can't say that yet. So, yeah, pretty much that's all the functions on Akita. Not too many, but still okay. But now, it's time to take a look at that stud shooter and go down to the arena to test that out. Okay, so we are down here at the arena, and it might be a little dark, but uh, please forgive me for that. So we have Akita right here, ready to shoot, and I'm just going to go ahead and use a little tail function to kind of aim. And now we shoot. Last shot. Alrighty. And that is the stud shooter. And the only problem with that is that they do go everywhere. So. That's it for the stud shooter. Let's get on to the end of the video. Okay, so now that we are at the end of the video, we can go over my likes and dislikes. But before that, we also can go over the extra pieces. So, we've got quite a lot of extra pieces, and the main reason for that is because this includes a stud shooter, which means lots of extra studs. We've got 13 extra studs in total. Uh, we've also got one of these black pins, one of these light gray pins that's been shortened, one of these light gray pins, an orange tooth or horn or whatever you want to call it, one of these half axle bushings, uh, an axle bushing, uh, I 
one of these XO Force hands, and then like all, and then all these uh, 13 studs. So that is it for extra pieces. And now for my general thoughts about this set. So overall, should you get this set or should I pass on it? Honestly, this is a really good set. This is probably one of my favorite creatures. Um, main reason being it comes with a stand and just, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's, I like the Technic design and everything. I just think it's really good. Um, and if you, and honestly, if you're going to get this one, you might as well pick up Golly as well because the Unity model does look pretty cool. And once again, I will not be showing you that in this video, but I will be doing that in the overview video that I will make soon, hopefully. Um, the Shadow Trap also is pretty unique. I like that. Uh, just like collecting them, making an army and stuff. Like the Skull Spider one, which I might have to do a video on one of those soon. So, uh, yeah, I really do like the set. Uh, definitely think it's worth uh, getting. It's only $10 or, or nine ninety nine plus tax or whatever, here in the U.S. at least. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, not really too many... F there, yeah, there's not too many functions. Uh, there's only a few, just the stud shooters. You do get two of them, which is nice, in the uh, translucent light blue. Um, but other than that, uh, this little function right here on the tail... It's mainly meant for the Unity model, so if you're gonna get this one, you might as well pick up Golly if you do see her, see her. But if you don't see her because Bionicle sets are kind of going out of stock lately, then uh, I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, uh, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!